What's going on, everybody? I'm Patrick from Palax, where we create confident coaches because confident coaches create great environments for players. This is the Ohio State Pairs offense in five minutes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and click that notification bell to be notified when we come out with brand new videos. This video is sponsored by Powlax.com. So Powlax.com is where we house and organize all of our content, and it gives you access to a bunch of extras. So if you like the video content, but you want to see it drawn out on paper, you can gain access to the Powlax PDFs, which is essentially my entire playbook, which corresponds to all of the videos. You can get that for $5 per month and you can download it, print it out, put it in your playbook, save it to be checked out later whenever you want. Now, if you want to dive a little bit deeper, you can do the Powlax courses by clicking this button up here. Now, what the courses do is they divide up these original videos into their component parts and then allow you to take a quiz to test out of them. Now, when you get to the registration page, there's two types of registration. You can register yourself individually or you can register yourself with a team component underneath you, which is this register tool right here. And that's going to give you 30 sub accounts for other coaches, all of your players, and everyone in that sub account section can test out so that everyone is starting from the same ground level. You can modify it as much as you want once you're done with the actual video, but it gives everyone a base level of what we're trying to do so that everyone can move forward as quickly as possible once once we hit the start of the season. Now, let's get into the video. So this tool is called Lacrosse Lab. I also offer a digital playbook and that includes basically the playbook in digital form like this. You can get that in two ways. There's a $60 per year for yourself or $25 a month and you can actually send these to your team if you get a Lacrosse Lab account as well. So in Lacrosse Lab, we are going to go to Offense, Ohio State Pairs, and we're going to begin with our wing motions. So. Ohio State divides their players up into three groups of two players. There is a lefty pair, a righty pair, and an X pair. Now, each one of these groups is going to move independently as the others are operating. Now, I, I call their operations two things. Motions are movement that a pair does with the ball, and rotations are what a, what a pair will do when another group has the ball. Now, within these pairs, you can do a variety of two-man game concepts. And if you want to teach two-man game ideas, I highly recommend this video, which is the types of two-man game video on powlex.com, because this is going to teach you what all of the two-man games are called, how to run them, what they look like. And that little update will help you with the communication to your players, because when you say, hey, you know, you need to shallow cut here, they're going to know what you're doing in you know, regards to not doing an overlap or whatever the other ones would be. But so this is going to teach the elements of the two-man game, whereas this is going to teach the idea of the overall offense. Now, within each on-ball two-man game, you can do a variety of different things. You can pick, you can mirror, you can carry shallow cut, you can do all kinds of stuff from each part. Like you can do from X, you can do it from the wings. And the key to the offense is the off-ball movement. Now, off-ball there are two keys. The first is someone has to be a forward or and backward outlet. Backward outlet is usually the other player in the motion pair. Now, the key is that you have to have a forward outlet so that as these motions happen, you have someone to pass the ball to. So as these players make this down pick and, and they come off of it, this player has to pop out so that as, who is it, A4 here, wants to move the ball, he's got someone to move the ball to. Now you can move the ball once, you can move the ball twice, and a lot of my examples actually show like one ball movement to another action. I've found that it's actually much easier to mandate that you have to move it to the other two groups before you have another dodge if you're not just attacking because you drew a slide. That's the other thing. Once you draw a slide, you really have to make sure that you are recognizing that and then attacking your numbers advantage once you've drawn the slide. So this is kind of a, a look at an offensive set where they have their motion, their rotation, they pass. Now the X group is doing their motion. They have the option to hold if, if it's a little bit too quick. Now everybody's doing their motions and rotations. They pass again and then they shoot the ball. Now in our video, we are going to show first Ohio State pairs getting into their offensive set and how they actually use this pairs idea in their, their offense. So one of the things is with 
you can run this with an open set where basically you have everybody on the perimeter and that allows you to swing the ball. That's what these players are going to do here. So you have a pick down. Nothing's there. They're going to swing the ball. And now you see that player subbing off the field. So they're actually using it in their transition to get into their actual offensive set. Now, once they swing the ball a bit more, they're going to find out where they want to attack from. And now we are going to be into our offensive set. So now as they come through, this would be a nice little up pick motion here. And the backside is going to be moving all as well over there. Swing the ball forward. Bang it again. That's your second movement. Throw the ball inside. Great look, right? But you see how one motion hits the rotation, hits the next group, and then they're right into another two-man game motion. But they're spreading the field well because they're all in different parts of the field. Now they're going to swing the ball again. We're going to start with the top left pair now. He gets inside out to set his pick. Nice rollback swing to a step down. Great shot. Next. Now we're going to attack with this top left pair. We get inside out. Nice little carry shallow cut. Rolls back to attack with the short stick. Bangs it forward, looks inside, great goal. You know, that one I'm not sure everyone's going to be able to hit because Trey LeClaire is a, is a monster. But you get the idea of how one pair moves, executes their, their motion, passes to the rotation to, to other pairs who are rotating, and then they just continue to play. The flow is the part that can be difficult for players because once players are into their off-ball two-man games, being the player who pops out can be kind of difficult. So, not difficult, it's just that everybody wants to score. So... This one I really like because it shows how once you draw in that two-man game, you'll see this player kind of show towards the ball and then try to get back. That created the rotation in the Denver defense, which as he starts to rotate, he realizes now, but the backside movements spread the field so well that if you can swing the ball to them, you should have something available so that you can catch the ball, fire, and shoot. Now, this is just our last little clip from this film. Now this is just how it can work in transition, pass down, pick down, and now he is going to swing over the top, gets his hands free, and scores. So that is our Ohio State Pairs offense in five minutes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of these five-minute videos down in the comments section. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video.